I mean, I know it sounds crazy to say <laughs> that it's a good thing that I'm getting threatening notes, but it means that I might not actually be crazy. The whole time that I imagined you awake, guiding me through everything, I was relying on you to be my strength. And now I realize that I have to depend on myself, which is what you tried to teach me, even if you were only in my head. But what I do know is I'm getting out of Shady Brook. I would give anything to take you with me. Hey. Hi. Sorry. We need to talk to you. Yeah, a new suspicion had arisen surrounding the devious note writer. Really? Come in. Come in. No, guys. no, no. Let's just go to your room. Why? Do you, do you guys feel weird around my mom? Not yes. at all. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not... She's... It's kind of like she's sleeping. Just come in. It's fine. So, Mom, um, uh, Spinelli's here. He's the, the friend that I told you about. He's... We've been friends since the day we met. Uh, greetings, um, Mater of the Fair One. She's not deaf. Oh. Not that she could understand you if she could hear you, because she can't. Can't she? No one knows for sure. Um, Mom, Maxie is also here. She's the last person I ever imagined calling my friend. Hi, Mrs. Spencer. It's me, Maxie Jones. You would remember me if you could remember anything. Okay, well, we really just wanted to talk to you, Lulu, so Spinelli, tell her. Yeah, um, would Trevor be so dastardly as to gaslight you? Trevor? Well, he always hated the idea of me and Johnny, told Johnny that I was a liability. Okay, then we must hasten to pick up the Dark One's trail and secure proof. What proof? I'll know when I see it. I have. You take your sweet time, don't you? Well, two meetings with you in one day is overkill. Back off that attitude, kid. I was out at Shady Brook. And we need to talk about Luna. Ah, it's so hard writing down what I feel. They asked me to write down my feelings, but when I read it, it's just, it's so stupid. Spinelli gave me a poetry book. Maybe I could get some inspiration from that. I could read it to you, too. I'll be right back. Lulu is in a tough situation. But you already know that. If you don't have any new information for me, I got no reason to stay. Hey, hear me out. I'm on your side. Can you honestly look me in the eye? And tell me that you think Lulu is better off for having seen you? She thinks so. <laughs> Lulu is not a doctor, John. Look, I want you to contact this man. He was the doctor that I brought in to analyze your father in his early stages of his illness. He's going to be more realistic about Lulu's situation. <laughs> we are emissaries of the Fair One, and we have just attained damning evidence as to your treachery, Darth Lansing. Emily Dickinson, Walt Whitman, I don't know what kind of poetry you like. Ugh, <laughs> people wrote so beautifully about love. Wanting it and losing it. Did I tell you that Johnny plays piano? First time I heard him play, I always say it was like singing into his soul. I don't know if I could ever be that brave expressing myself. No, I'm not going to do this. I know you. You would not want me to cheat. No cribbing off of Emily Dickinson. I will find my own words. See? I still feel you with me. I hope you feel me too, Mom. I love you. Good night. What are you doing? 
I am conducting a handwriting comparison vis-a-vis -vis the notes of Tara being left for the fair one. Notes? What is he talking about? Shut up, Trevor. Are you saying that threatening notes that Lulu received are real? See for yourself. We think Trevor's trying to mess with Lulu's head. What? It appears that Jacko P.I. and Maximista have leapt to the wrong conclusion, as is it were. Lancing the Elder's penmanship does not that match that of the threatening missive. Wait, how is that possible? We saw him there. He was in Lulu's room. I don't know, maybe perhaps the act of an accomplice. Sorry would be nice. <laughs> Lulu wasn't in her room when I tried to see her. Look, I am trying to help her. So here, contact this doctor. But don't be surprised if he tells you to stay away from her for your own good luck. Jackal P.I. is duly humiliated. Look, I get that you two are trying to help Lulu, but she wrote that note herself. No, she would have to be possessed of multiple personalities to accomplish that task. I don't care what you guys say. Lulu is not that far gone. Okay, I'll follow up. No, no, the Jackal protests. Look, this is my... I love no. Lulu. And if someone's out there trying to hurt her, I'll take care of it. Whoever was blackmailing me was in here, Mom. They had to be. I found this note inside the notepad that I left on your bed. This person is just trying to mess with my head. They, they want me to go crazy. I just wanted you to feel some remorse. Scott, of course it was you. You're the only one who would want to torture me. Torture you? What about my son? Lulu, he loved you, and you killed him. Lulu, I want justice for my son. And this is how you get it, by stalking me in a mental hospital? I want you to think about what you did. For a long time, that's all I could think about. How sorry no, I am. No, You're not sorry that Logan died. You're sorry that Johnny, your boyfriend, was arrested. No, that is not true. Logan cared about you. He was in love with you. When you clubbed him and put him in a coma, he woke up, he made excuses for you. So I know that that night in question, he was not there to hurt you. You meant to kill no, him. No, that is, no, you're wrong, that was an accident. No, it's no accident that my son is dead. There's no accident that I don't have a son anymore, that I don't get to watch him grow up and, and have a family and have kids and meet the, the right girl. You know why? Because he's in the ground and you put him there. So you know what, you're, you're gonna have to pay for this. There is gonna be justice, and you will get a lethal injection, and that's what's gonna happen. Not my daughter, you son of a bitch!